the best of Artscape 2009. And please tell everybody who you are and what you do. I'm Lois Cuck from Chestertown, Maryland. And I do my dimensional artwork where I take the faces of famous people and artists and pull them out of the, the uh, canvas. And um, I just enjoy doing this and, and having the, the history of, of art and people and get into the people's lives and the artists' lives and just have fun with it. And I see a lot of them seem to be historical figures of yes. some type. What made you do that? Um, just that uh, they have interesting faces, interesting lives, and I feel like I'm bringing these people back to life again. So who's your favorite artist or painting? My favorite artist is Van Gogh, which is over there. Um, I have one of Van Gogh in his younger years before he, he did anything to his ear, and then one with his ear is bandaged. <laughs> And may I ask why he's your favorite artist? Oh, I just love the colors and, and his, his art is, is, has such movement to it. And when, when I did especially the one on the right, the one with the, the blue color, he, I could just get into his techniques and it's just wonderful. So we see that they're three-dimensional. Were you ever one-dimensional in oh, your art? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm one-dimensional. I did a lot of landscapes, although my work had a lot of texture to it, so it wasn't flat as, as normal people paint. So did you experiment in other mediums at all? Um, no, I just started painting again for the last, like, five years um, after I retired because I went to art school and then I went out into the real world, could not get a job as an artist. So I uh, just got regular jobs and uh, now that I have the time, I'm getting back into my art. Like how do you do it? Okay, I start off when I do the face, I use modeling clay and I model a kind of the direction of the face and uh, then I um, cover that with a two-part epoxy clay and when that hardens I scoop out the modeling clay and it's hollow on the inside okay so then I place that on on the uh, canvas and other structures uh, and the hair that's made with caulk builders caulk and then they're painted over with acrylic Wow, so how exactly do you do the detail? Because if you can look at her hair, it's very detailed. I take a palette knife and I kind of swirl the caulk around. It's messy, but it's fun. A, a lot of them, I, I, I just use the whole caulking gun and squirt it out. And uh, that's how I get a lot of the detail. And it takes you about how long to do each well, minimum? Probably about a month. About a month, wow. And how long did it take for your longest? Like how, the, your, the most intricate, how long did it take you just about? Oh, a couple months. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I put them aside and I think about them more and I come back to them and work on them more. So how long can you say you've been doing this? Just actually uh, the dimensional arc, two years and painting again five years so of all the the paintings here today what what is your favorite would it be van gogh probably the van gogh with the pipe <laughs> wow <laughs> I, I i love the fact that you know i can take the van gogh painting and pull it out and also the smoke coming up from the pipe wow so again well thank you for your time you well, and we appreciate your art i've never seen anything like this before so thank you thank you